Hey, Kelsey Race here discussing Ivan Franco. Um, the book was kind of confusing, so hopefully um, my explanations will, um, will make sense. Uh, so first off, um, Luther Blissett was um, this collective identity that could be used by anyone, but I thought it was almost kind of um, ironic that Ivan Franco used him because um, used that name because the they say that privacy is stupid so by using this um fake or this um identity to um stay private is almost contradicting themselves so i thought that was kind of funny but um so just as luther blissett um darko maver was similar to that but um was a name of a non-existent artist that Evan Franco um, used to um, actually like change reality to fiction. Um, it really made us um, think like what is reality and they use these identities not to just pretend to be someone else but to like manipulate our perspectives. Um, they would steal pieces of art and website codes and they're um, by doing that it's showing how um, art isn't like valued enough that it can just be like easily stolen compared to other pricey things in the world like um, yeah uh, but in a way um, they're really just like jokesters because like they enjoy art um, their actions like draw audiences attention by um um to like explain how art should be shared like how um they mixed up the artwork with the artist which was like not smart of that um mark um something yeah how he gave them the password to put in their art that wasn't smart <laughs> because um by doing that they were just able to um, mess with everyone's art, but it was kind of funny. Um, but they're just trying to say that like art is fun, and um, they the and that art is um, funny too. That it, they do it in like a almost sarcastic way. Um, when they made the fake issue of the New York Times, I think it wanted us to see how easily. Um, the world is influenced by the media. Um, we don't question what they tell us. We just believe it right away, kind of like how gossip is in school. Um, uh, and then their life sharing piece is basically how we use the internet today. Uh, like we share our lives on the internet, not really thinking about like not thinking about it or like what can happen like kind of makes me want to like get rid of my twitter and facebook <laughs> but i know i can't obviously because we contact through facebook so yeah but um their uh avatars are basically like replicas of themselves where um like normally other people on second life um you know you make it so it's your um like a mask but for them um by making it their characters exactly like them it doesn't um people other the other people on second life won't know because um it's just like almost their like safe way of being themselves um there's two lines that i wanted to talk about um, that I thought caught my attention near the end. It, um, the first one is, the truth is just a lack of imagination. And I think what they're trying to say is, um, seeking truth isn't everything. And that, um, the truth is just all facts. Whereas when you try to use your imagination, anything is possible. And, um, there's no right or wrong. So, we should be um, using our imagination to create something to believe in. Um, and then 
Um, the other line was, um, art is a lie we want to believe in. And they're not actually trying to say that art is bad. So obviously it's not. But, um, it's, they're trying to say it's something more than a truth. That it's something that gives us hope that we just want to be real. And I, I don't know, I just thought that these two lines were, like, it just, it made me think a lot, so just wanted to put it out there but um so yeah that's my intake I guess about Evan Franco it's kind of difficult to understand but um they're they're pretty interesting characters so I'm looking forward to reading more about them later um uh, deuces